Hi, I'm uh, Dr. Peter Fitzgerald. I'm the president of the Pastor Children's Hospital. And uh, I want to welcome everyone today for this great event. Uh, as you know, we're here to mark the beginning of a $10 million construction project to transform our old emergency department into a state-of-the-art children's facility. As you can see, the construction fence is already up. We've closed down our old emergency entrance and opened up a temporary new one down at the end of the glass wall there. And actually, the spot that you're all standing in right now is going to be the new waiting area and some of the treatment rooms of the new Emerge as it expands back past this tower behind you and out towards the parking lot. Uh, at the end of the day, the uh, Emerge will be almost twice the size it is now. So this is an exciting project that really is a part of our continued growth that supports our efforts to provide the best care by specialists in children's emergency medicine for the over than 600 thousand children that live in Hamilton and the surrounding region. Hello, my name is Nikki Gratton. I'm here with my husband Shannon, my sons Nathan and Jared to tell you Jared's story. It was three years ago um, that my husband found uh, Jared unconscious on the floor and we took him to the local emergency room. Uh, he was diagnosed with vertigo and released after about two hours. It was moments later in the parking lot that Jared collapsed again and we rushed him back in panicking. The doctors um, did not know what to do. They admitted that they had to send him off to specialists and they recommended we go to McMaster. When we got here, the doctors kept us in the emergency room for two days and they did test after test after test. They did not give up until they identified what was wrong with our three-year-old son. We had an MRI finally, which diagnosed a blood clot in his inner carotid artery and Jared had a stroke. In fact, he'd had several. Uh, unbelievable in a three-year-old. They gave us the counselling, the support and the training uh, that we needed to be able to take care of him. They taught us to inject him, which no parent should ever have to do. But for twice a day, for five months, we had to inject him with blood thinners to disperse the clot. They supported us. The nursing staff were unbelievably kind to Jared. He was so cute. <laughs> they gave him toys and a little personal yellow TV because his favorite color was yellow. Um, we could not thank them enough. And if it wasn't for the care that we received here, he would not be the success he is. Today, he is 100% recovered with no lasting impairment. He runs, he plays the violin, he does karate, he swims, and he's a straight A student. We could not thank the staff at McMaster enough for everything they did to save his life. Thank you. Hi. Thank you for having me. Thank you. Um, hi, I'm Sarah Martin, and Leah is my daughter. And uh, my husband, Darren, and Abigail and Naomi, my kids. Um, our experience with the emergency here at McMaster was only just recently. It was this past February when our four-year-old daughter, Leah, became quite suddenly and dramatically ill. Her little body had been so healthy and active, and um, with a strep A infection that infected her blood, her body started to shut down, actually like the story we heard earlier. And um, when I took her into our clinic, um, she, they saw that she was going downhill so quickly that they um, called the ambulance, and we were rushed here to McMaster. And um, I was expecting to walk into the emergency and have to fill up paperwork and um, you know tell our story and things. But they were so quick to respond that um, even in the ambulance, when I didn't realize it, they were collecting information. And uh, we got here, and a doctor and um, an emergency nurse were right on call there, um, doing blood work, putting her on an IV. And um, I was very thankful for a sick kids hospital where they could call an intensive care team right down to the emergency to work on her. And um, within uh, minutes, I think Leah was intubated. And it actually took three days for her to be fully stabilized, but um, the care that she received here was incredible. And um, and not only the care for her, but for our children, um, but her siblings as well. They weren't able to see her and to have the child life specialists that uh, counseled them through that and, and introduced them to um, the equipment in the critical care unit and um, all the staff, the social workers that helped us walk through a very dark time in our family's journey. and. Um, we're just really thankful that there's an emergency room that can um, help people with their children 
that has the specialized equipment, because from what we understand, any other emergency room wouldn't have been equipped to um, deal with her illness so promptly and, um, and just for the compassionate care that we received. So thank you very much.